Today we're going to talk about how to set up new sequence inside our project. And a sequence is something we have to have if you want to be able to take footage and drag it inside your timeline. So the first thing we need to do is set up a sequence. Now we can do that by going up into File, say New, and then Sequence. Once you hit Sequence, we need to actually choose the settings for the sequence, which is basically the video format that you want it to display down inside our timeline. So right now we have some presets, as you guys can see we have quite a few actually, but the one we're focused on, at least for regular HD TV, you know if you want 1080 pixels, is going to be the one called HDV. So we're going to click the drop down, and inside here you get quite a few options. We can choose 720 pixels, or we can choose 1080 pixels. Now I want to explain the difference between 1080i and 1080p. Basically, 1080i is where you have something that renders the footage one line at a time, going horizontally. Where 1080p is where you render it in pixels, which gives you much better quality on your footage when you create videos. 1080i is basically what you might see in the past, where you might see wavy lines inside the footage, which might ruin it. So we want to focus on 1080p compared to 1080i. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the one called 30 behind it, which is basically the frame rate we want the footage to be viewed in. Now you can also go up into settings if you want to and change the settings of the sequence we just made here. And if you want to change anything in here like the audio or the video, you can go ahead and change it inside here. Or if you want to have a higher resolution, you can also do that inside here. So we're just going to go ahead and stick with the basic 1080p, 30 frames per second sequence here. Now once we've done that, we can actually go ahead and choose a name for it. So I'm just going to call this one main which is just the main timeline we're going to have inside our project. You can have many different timelines, you know, many different sequences, which can be combined inside one sequence at the end if you wanted to. You can make it really complicated, or you can just go ahead and stick with one sequence throughout your whole video. It's really up to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And then as you guys will notice, we now get a preview window up here with, some, with a black screen, which is because right now we don't actually have anything down inside our timeline, which also appeared. And now you guys can see inside our project window, we also get a timeline. So that's basically it for creating an actual sequence. And in the next episode, we'll talk about actually putting footage inside our project and putting it onto a timeline and, you know, some of the basic info we have down inside our timeline because we actually got some new stuff down here now. We're going to go ahead and talk about those. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.